Hey everyone, welcome back. Let's uh, start exploring. I'm really curious how we're gonna solve this one. And didn't we already have the curse? The tale already started, so I wonder if this is gonna be one of those short chapters. We can press all the buttons, but there's nothing else to explore here, so let's try this one. It works! Okay. West side, okay. According to the control panel, it only stops at each office level and the roof at night. 22nd and 33rd, right? Which one should we go first? 22nd, probably best to go in order. Gotcha. If, which floor will you go to? <laughs> well, let's listen to her. Hi! You wanna come cuddle? Ooh, big yawn. There he is. Hello, my dear. Oh, is it time to cuddle? Oh! <laughs> I love that big boss like comes to me and then he's just like, catch me, hold me, and he just like flops down onto my lap. <laughs> um, okay, 20 second. Uh, what? Floor must be past the aisle through that door. What is that? Oh wait, overtime has been banned, so nobody's supposed to be here, right? Yeah, that's right. Plus this floor is closed off even during the day since it's the scene of a murder at all. What about it? I see a figure beyond the door there. Maybe it's like a cardboard cutout or something. I don't see anything. Oh, it's gone now. It was just there. You're probably just seeing things. No time to waste jumping at shadows. Come on, let's, let's get a looking. <laughs> oh, PB. <baby. laughs> You're making me press buttons I don't want to press. Okay. Uh, anything else here? I guess we can go to a different floor. Section of the lights. Only a section of the lights are on. Looks like it's set up so the minimum number of lights turn on after midnight. That's smart. Save power. <laughs> Okay, 22nd floor. Kabushiki Gaisa. So it's different companies here. Offices in here, let's split up and look around. I'll look further in, you two take the office straight ahead. Before I forget, take this. Card key. It's a guest card key for our investigation. It'll get you into the offices. I think the report said the victim who worked here on the second- 22nd- Victims who worked here on the 22nd floor were Senior Staff Takada and General Manager, Manager Shima. Just those two. Try to find their desks. Once we're done looking, we'll meet back here. So which one is she going into? Which one do I go into? That's the phone if we want to switch partners. Security room, yeah. This has got to be the telephone Bond was talking about. Looks like this is what we used to reach Bond from here. Let's call if we need to. Yeah. Got it. Okay, I think she's... I think she, I think she said that we should go down the hall, so... Uh, I need to use the key card. Oh, let's investigate this first. Small fire extinguisher. Looks pretty new, like it was inspected recently. Looks like... Seems like it would be useful if a fire broke out. Famous painting reproduction hangs on the wall. Oh, baby. You want to get in better position? Oh, he's hugging my arm. Card key reader by this door, too. Oh, he's standing in front of it looking grim. What are you doing? The store won't open with a normal card key. Sales department. They handle important customer in info in here. I'm guessing that it needs a higher level security card to get in. Is there any way to open it? Got a bunch of different card keys in case something like this happened. I'm going to try all of them. Okay, so I guess this is where she's going to go. So we're going to go here. Oh, baby, so cute. It isn't displaying anything and I don't see any wiring. Looks like it's just a box. Might be se It might set off an alarm if I mess with it, so I better not do anything to it. I wasn't planning to, I just wanted to use the card. Take out the car key, key card and slide it through the reader. I hear, hear the door unlock. It always fucks me up that people say either card key or key card. 
That's how it works. I would say key card, but they're in every building these days. It'll relock after a certain amount of time. We should hurry and get inside. Right. Oh, wrong one. Wrong one. I meant this door. <laughs> oh, that plant in the corner there fucked me up. I was like, ah, there's someone there. Lights in the office are off. It's almost pitch black in here. Even so, I can tell it must be a pretty big room because of the echoes I'm hearing. Bigger than I thought. This is a very big company. It would be unusual to not have an office at least this size. I've never worked in an office yet, okay? Sorry for not knowing everything about the world. Anyway, we're looking for a desk, right? We're better off looking for a clue first. We won't find it by running around. Yeah. So we need like a manuscript or like a... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Why do they always get me that bad? <laughs> we need like a book that says who is seating where. Small set of drawers. Drawers locked. Could you move? Sure, she's gonna unlock it. She takes out her tools and the drawer, drawer cooperates in just a few seconds. This is an easy one. I'm impressed every time I see you do that. I'm not going to teach you how to do it. You'll need to figure it out by watching. I rummage through the desk and find a piece of paper that looks useful. It's titled Floor Guide for Newcomers and has a map to the office. That looks helpful. I spread it out on the desk and shine the flashlight on it. It shows the locations of all the fire extinguishers and other equipment, as well as which employee works at which desk. If I recall correctly, Oe said that Takada and Shima were on this floor. Is this the one? At the end of the third row from the windows, it says Takada, senior staff. End of the third row from the windows. Okay. Bingo! Senior staff Takada is one of the people Oe said to look for. No, not, no doubt about it. Let's go. Um, Swallows out row. Okay. We still need to search. Oh! Oh! Someone back there! I suddenly sense a presence other than Rose. I point my flashlight in its direction. What the fuck? What's the matter? There was someone standing there. I don't see anyone else here. Perhaps you mistook the plant for a person. Hmm, there is definitely someone there. The light definitely hit it. Could it could it have been the peach the killer peach? Uh yeah, I don't like those plants. Okay, there's a phone there, some cabinets. I opened the drawer and there are a bunch of unused equipment inside. I wonder if my hay fever is acting up. My eyes are like all watery today. It's kind of eerie being in a place that's normally full of people and seeing no one around. Um, wasn't it the third row from the windows? Do I have to walk forward? Ah, according to the seating chart, Takara's desk is probably here. Let's go search it. Cigarette brand called Mighty Five. No cigarettes left inside, just paper trash stuffed in it. Letters on the dial button are faded. Looks like it was used a lot. Files containing overviews of plans and documents. It's organized neatly by project. Seems Takada was pretty good at his job. Normal keyboard, there are a number of coffee stains on it. Might be blood. No blood stains anywhere. Okay. Just checking. I'm not falling for it again with the rust like before. The monitor is slightly yellowed. Might be from the tar and the cigarettes. Um, computer Takada used to work on. Could still have some information in it. Turn it on? Sure. Oh, that face! I saw that face! I look everywhere I can think of but come up empty handing. And empty, empty handed! There's nothing useful. Pretty large binder. Stacks of documents organized by project. Albatross, Rainbow, South Dragon, Island. Each project seems to have its own little title, little secret code name. Hmm. That was it? Yeah, that was it. Hmm. 
Should we back it up? There's still other places we can look. Maybe Oa is done? Is she in there? Oh, I'm still struggling there. Seems like the door hasn't opened yet. Hmm. Should we go to a different floor? Check out 33rd? <clears throat> we can only go to the roof. I guess we need to wait for Oe to be done. But we can check out the roof in the meantime. Huh. Looks exactly the same. I thought it was just gonna be a door to like a... the building's roof. Here we are. Oh, this is awesome! Little plants up top? That's so nice! Such a nice break area. Some kind of monument in the center. Taking a closer look, I see it's a monument dedicated to the victims of some sort of fire. Any blood on it? Hmm. So now we know there was a fire in the building at some point. <clears throat> There must be something I'm missing on this 22nd floor. Oh! Underneath the keyboard, something stuck to it. It's a label, IL-25, written on it in pen. Still recording? Yes. <laughs> what do you think this is? It's safe to assume it's some kind of password. People with bad memories often use such methods. Must be something important if they're going to going to go through the trouble. What's the point of having a password then? Honestly, I feel that it's a wonderful habit. It saved us quite a bit of time. IL-25, huh? I remember seeing something IL related somewhere. Yeah, in the folder had an island. Here. Rainbow South Dragon Island. Each project seems to have its own little secret code name. Hmm, I think I saw something earlier that was similar to one of these project names. Yeah. So, now what? Or do we combine it? Um, compare all the projects contained in the binder. Island. Isle, right? That's gotta be talking about island. Baby Julie. Oh, he scared me. I look at the 25th page of the island project. As I turn to it, something falls out from between the pages. Dimple key? What the fuck is that? That label was to keep track of the hiding place for key. He really want, doesn't want this to be found. So I can't wait to see what, I, what we can find with this key. Um, we haven't seen any locked drawers or anything, right? That's what was, that was just a project, yeah. Oh! Set of drawers. Can we use the key? Check to see if Rose can do something about the lock. I mean, dude, we have the key. Huh. Again? Rose, can you do something about this? Sure, I don't mind. She takes a closer look and her face clouds over. It seemed simple at first glance, but now that I look at it, it would be faster to find the key. Seriously? I do have the key on me. To normal folks, this looks the same, but this is actually a special anti-theft anti lock. Never expected to see one in a place like this. Honestly, I'm shocked that it's here. Guess I'll need to find a key to open up this drawer. That's what I was trying to use, dudes! Okay. <laughs> use the key to open the drawer. Finally open. Finally! Took us like 30 seconds. Whew. Inside the drawer is a thick envelope and a videotape. Stuffed inside the envelope are... Pictures! But there's something odd about them. Every picture seems to be taken from an unnatural angle. It looks like they're all of women in underwear or completely naked. We found his porn stash! Unless they're also being violated, then we found more than just a porn stash. I'm 
guessing this creep was taking these photos non-consensually. There we go. The angle of the photographs make it seem like they were taken with a hidden camera. Seriously? Hidden camera? Changing rooms, the woman's t women's toilet. These seem to have been taken inside the building. Which means this is where he hid his collection and equipment, I suppose. That explains the need for that lock. What about the video? Looks like this could have useful info. The description reads, Five Five Club, President Ishimaru's Memorial. President Ishimaru? Now that I think of it, I heard he died recently. Who is he? President of Sumi Group. I recall reading his obituary half a year ago. Hmm. Seems like this video was played during a gathering held in his honor. The label isn't lying about what's on the video. The beginning is a collection of reports on his death from each news station. Must have been big to be all over the news. Yeah, that's true and all, but... Why was this video hidden just as securely as all his illicit photos? I get why he'd hide all of those photos, but what's the deal with the club? It's probably just a fake label, or it was a tape about that and he just over... He just... I wrote something over it? How do you... How do you say that in English? Overwritten? That concerns me too. There's obviously some, th some important secret on the video. Let's take the video with us. You can leave the photos behind. Okay. Can we watch it in the security room, maybe? Let's uh, show it to Oi. Oh, you're back. Did you find the victim's desks? We found one. Search Takada's desk. I tell her that Takada had a collection of raunchy peeping photos in his desk. Huh. Guy's an even bigger scumbag than I figured. There was also a video I didn't really understand. A video? It's a video made of the late president's memorial made by something called the Five Five Club. Does the club ring a bell to you, Oi? Nope. Ain't got a clue. But big companies have little infernal internal at internal factions of groups or Jesus okay from the beginning but big companies have little internal factions or groups it's probably one of those I almost messed it up again <laughs> that's what I was thinking as well what's concerning to me is that Takada hit that video for whatever reason so what about you did you get anything nope I gave up on opening that door there I brought a card key for it but it seems like the code was changed well that's unfortunate so that finishes up this floor for now. Let's move to the next. 33rd. Section Chief Bando and Department Head Kagawa both work on 33rd. Let's search their desks next. You got it, Chief! Let's go! Oh! Oh, sorry, that's me. Oi opens her cell and starts chatting. Yeah, I've been waiting. What's about? What about the case I left you with? Yeah, Sumi. What? Come on, I just can't win here. They're really buttoned in this late, huh? Oh, wait a sec. Rose, come here. Oe suddenly calls for Rose. Me? What do you need? Just come over here, real quick. These are reports about the 33rd floor. I'm leaving them in your hands. Reports? Police reports? This call's gonna take a while. Gabu, go on ahead. Damn, she really trusts us. Right, so about that case. Oi gives us some instructions and then quickly returns to her phone conversation. Well, you heard her. We're going to have to continue on without her. I'm sure now creepy shit's gonna happen. I do hope nothing happens to Oi, though. She's a tough girl. She can handle her own, right? Let's see it. Exactly the same. <laughs> what am I supposed to look for here? Let me look over these reports. Wait just a second. She opens up a folded paper and carefully looks it over. Victims working on the 33rd floor were Section Chief Bando and Department Head Kagawa. Both were, man both were in managerial positions, and the location of the... Loca la 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 la. Locations of the desks are recorded here. 
Great. Save us the trouble of wandering around trying to find our desks. If this floor is set up the same way as the lower floors, the offices should be right ahead. Let's go. Such an identical building. Jesus. I'm just gonna start on the left. Bando. Ah, Jesus! Oh, the head turns. So there's the dog on the right and the monkey on the front. What? I knew I saw something. That definitely wasn't a person. Multiple heads. Agreed, that most certainly wasn't a person. Must be Killer Peach from Oi's rumor. What does it want with us? We're not Sumi employees. Maybe Killer Peach thinks we're employees. Haha, <laughs> I thought this would have been... I thought this would be a simple investigation. I suppose it's no surprise that our lives are in danger. At least it won't be boring. Yeah, I'm just thrilled. That's what you have to expect when you're investigating a spirit. Everyone keep their guard up. It's just you and me, though. Uh, I don't know if I want to go in here now. Maybe we should check there first. It isn't displaying anything and I don't see any wiring. Looks like it's just a box. Same text as before. Let's try this one again. Yeah, works. The barman head Kagawa is the victim that worked in this area. Gotcha. Let's look for Kagawa. And hopefully not die! Oh, you guys can see it. It's right behind my camera. Exactly behind my camera. Fuck me. Got a text. The same, exactly the same picture was standing in the corridor uh, that was just behind the door. I opened up the message. Ah, uh, D-man, fuck off, man. For one, search the fake monster. For the other, search the monster that shines on the giant's leg. Mmm, you still there? Okay, let me... There. See, he's right there. <laughs> oh, my camp border is still there. Okay, let's play like this for a little bit. My, my, you can take a break later. Let's proceed. Yeah, I'm coming. Oh, now it's right behind the map. Fuck. Should we just... Oh, okay. It's... It's gone now. That was creepy. There we go. I'm back. Go to check out the window, but from this angle I can only see the dark sky. Inside I see a bath additive prod produced by Sumi Chemicals. The label says Pinky Bath. The jingle went Pinky Pinky Bubbly Bath. I like the song, but I never bought it. Now I'll have the chance to try it. Take that with you. Pinky bath. Find a floor guide for newcomers, just like the one on the 22nd floor. It also shows the location of various equipment. Locations for some fire extinguishers. It even has where the fire extinguishers are. More importantly, do you see Kagawa's name on it? I thought we had the floor plan already. I thought we didn't need to look for this. Find a desk assigned to Kagawa. Kagawa's desk is on this floor. Um, so where is it? Drawer contains binders. Looks like looks like there's a collection of invoices and estimates. Okay, that was it for now. So I'm guessing we go up to find another desk. Kagawa, nicely organized. Yeah, there's nothing here. Makes it easier to look through. Objects crashing together echoes around the area. What? What could have made that sound? I don't know, dude. Name stickers carefully placed above each speed dial button. Just a regular keyboard. Anything under it? Unusual. Hmm. No. Monitors clean of dust, not a single fingerprint. Sure. Computer fans were to life. The screen eventually turns on and there are a number of animal pictures. What the heck is this? 
Images of a rabbit, bear, bird, and a pig. Underneath them is a line of text that says, click the password. So these pictures are the password? I don't know the password. <laughs> Instakagawa's PC password must be lying around here somewhere. Documents. Mm -hmm. Mouse? Shaking it causes it to make a rattling noise. Just the ball rolling around. Hmm. Is there like a... No. No cabinet here? Oh! <sighs> Fuck. I was in front of it again. I'm having bad luck with my camera position today. So we need to find the order of the password. I guess I'm gonna look in the other office now. Maybe save? Uh, let's make it this one. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Good. Bundle. Section Chief Bundle, right? West side, best side. The instant I step into the office, a heavy chill descends upon me. The air here is different. I feel like some beast is glaring at me in the darkness of the office. Damn it, Killer Peach is hunting us after all. Suddenly I get a whiff of something awful floating on the stagnant air. This is... How many times have I smelt this now? There's no mistaking it. It's blood. Someone dead here? Oh, shit. Is that where someone was killed? Your turn to show off your skills. Guess I'll give it a try. Squat low and touch the blood stain with my fingers like I always do. Hungry. <laughs> Creepy high pitched laugh. But also. Whoa, there it is! Absolutely unbelievable scene. Holy shit. Ugh, this is. Office, office is covered in blood spatters. I see something laying in a pool of blood. Something that looks like a human arm and also a round lump like a split watermelon. When I look closer. I realize it's a human head. Oh god. And behind it is... They cleaned it up good. A grotesque creature holding what looks like a katana. It's breathing quietly. That's gotta be Killer Peach. That human head that's like on the chest is really disturbing. It almost seems like the figure can see me watching it through the vision. It's glaring at me. That would be creepy if it can actually see us. Silver white blade flashes through the darkness as it screams. It's gonna kill me! Wait, these visions are dangerous now? What's the matter? What did you see? Killer Peach. Killer Peach was there. I give Rose a description of the vision that I was shown. Unsettling and fascinating. So one of the murders transpired here. If this is a crime scene, then the victim must have been that Sumi man named Bando. Probably. Killer Peach was laughing, and it looked like it was still hunting for prey. That certainly doesn't sound good. That would imply that its ne next target is... us. With that, a heavy silence falls on the room. If Killer Peach has already marked us, then avoiding it won't do us any good. There's never been a way to escape it. All we can do is keep pressing forward. No need to check these computers, only the victim. Victim's one. Small set of drawers. Is this uh oh, I thought I thought we were gonna get another one of those floor guides. Bath additive developed by Sumi Chemicals. I really like the jingle from the commercial. 
I've never heard it. Now I'm kind of curious what the jingle sounds like. It's not like asking e the either of them to sing it would help, so I rummaged through the documents. It's floor guide. There it is. That's two times now that they mentioned the jingle. Maybe the jingle is something that we're gonna use to defeat the... Defeat whoever. Maybe it's a past employee, that lady. Because it's a female head on the chest. Maybe it was a female employee here. <clears throat> Sorry. I think it's my allergies acting up. I feel like completely stuffed. Storage shelves on the planning department floor. All I find are a bunch of documents that don't make sense to me. For a split second, I could have sworn the house plant standing in the dark was a person. Might be a little tired from all these nights investigating. Okay. We're here. According to OA's report, this is Bondo's desk. Got a bunch of stuff on it. It's gonna be a pain to search. S still not that bad. Oh, there is a cabinet here. Drawer is locked. Looks like a job for me. Nice. She's so good at this. Back with a label that says from Kagawa. Wait, wasn't that the other pervert? Two CDs in it. I flipped them around and noticed a familiar looking face on one of the jacket covers. Hazuki! Oh! <laughs> She's dressed up like when she's performing as Momo Kurose. Title of the song is Wander Rabbits. That's the song that Ami snuck onto my phone as a ringtone. One CD from Momo Kurose and the other is Love and Hero. <laughs> you know them? I'm quite fond of Love He. Ah. Dabu and Dohiro. Dabu. Dabu He. Ai has a lovely voice. I'm not sure how to respond to that. Oh! Ai-chan! She was in Deathmark, wasn't she? I f totally forgot. Wander rabbits and counterattack. This desk belongs to some old guy, right? Why would he have this? Music can stir the souls of anyone. Said it was from Kagawa. Maybe he borrowed it from his boss. So his boss Kagawa owns these CDs? That still means they belong to an old man. <laughs> Someone will be calling you old before you realize it. Okay, boomer. Anything else interesting? Hang on a sec, there's some kind of box further inside. What might that be? I think it's a safe. Shove to the back of the drawer. Safety deposit box. What? Hey Google, stop. How the fuck did I do that? I activated my Google Assistant to start playing music on Spotify. <laughs> What did she hear? What did I say? Can you open it? Doesn't hurt to ask. With the right tools, sure. I don't typically carry around the tools to open things like this. Seems like I'll need a key to open this safe. Better look for that first. Okay. Sports paper famous for being more like a tabloid rag. Page is bent on an article with a photo of an idol walking with a middle-aged man late at night. All sorts of project documents are haphazardly placed inside the binder. So he's a messy one. Opening the file, I see all sorts of documents inside. I guess Bando was pretty disorganized. Strange book mixed in with the business textbooks. Exciting idol directory! Comprehensive info on the hot new pop idols of today. Took a look just in case, but it didn't have anything useful. No key inside. Little scratches and stains all over are pretty obvious. Looks like it's used pretty roughly. Standard office keyboard. Nothing strange about it. Screen is completely blank. I need to turn on the computer. Let's do it then. Press the power switch and I hear the computer fans were to life. See something on the screen. It's asking for a password. I have no clue what it could be. Can't use the computer without a password. Okay, so I found two... Two computers now, and I don't know the password to either of them. Mouse feels a bit rough. I bet it's not been cleaned much. Ew. 
The wheel uh, wheeled office chair. Move it out of the way. Sure. Hmm. What's that? Spot is where the chair used to be. I can look underneath the desk now. Crawl under the desk to see if anything's there. Did you find anything? Something, but give me a sec. There's a note stuck underneath the desk. It looks like it'll be hard to get it off. What does it say? Just read it to me. Sure, it says pass bundle. Must be the password to his computer. Let's try it. Oh, also, found some laundry, so I grabbed that too. Laundry? Dirty dress shirt. Oh. Did he sleep here in the building? Salary men have it rough. I'll let you handle that. My word, that sh shirt reeks of cologne. My word. If you're, ta if you're taking it with you, put it somewhere it won't be smelled, please. Okay. Cram the dirty dress shirt deep into the bag. So, do we have the password now? Need to put it in. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, that's where you put in the password, right? At the keyboard. You put in the... You examine the monitor just so you can put in the password? Rosé steps to the keyboard and quickly enters the password. God, I'm so stuffed. Sorry. Bundle. Okay. I guess that was the right password. Looks like that did it. There's a note on the desktop. Borrow two albums from the department heads. Practice the call in time for the concert. Call? The chanting audiences do at pop concerts. He must have had plans to go to one. Department head is Kagawa, right? The rest is all trivial. Rosie suddenly stops scrolling. Case PC passwords. Solo first. Wait. The other dude with the pictures? The animal pictures? Case PC must be Kagawa. Okay. Department head is Kagawa, yeah? So it's the password to his computer. Why would he have it on his computer? What would solo first mean then? Maybe the picture that just says one animal on it? Ishimaru is the president of Sumi Group. President Ishimaru's memorial video is something we got, but we haven't watched it yet. The Five Five Club, mysterious faction within Sumi. The barman head Kagawa, love hero, rabbit CD, he lend it to Bando. Case computer password is solo first. Okay. So far so good. Should we go back? Maybe save. Mm, 19th today. Yeah, it's definitely allergies. Some kind of hay fever or something. My eyes are like burning. I have no idea what it is though. I haven't even been outside yet. <clears throat> and I'm normally fine here. Must be something in the air. Uh, okay. Well, now you do want to examine the keyboard? Oh. How do I put in the password? Um... Enter the password. There we go. This time I had to put in the... Examine the computer. I think I saw something about this at Bondo's desk. I think it said... Solo first. Something like that. And Kagawa lent Bondo some idol CDs. Maybe I should double check the CDs that I have in my bag. Uh... Okay, let's check the CDs first. Favorite albums in order. Oh, Wander Rabbit. Ah. Okay. CDs. Momo could have said CDs single found in Bando's desk. The cover Momo is a black bunny costume. Yeah, Wander Rabbit. Um, and then the counter tech is Love and Hero. A girl with twin ponytails in the middle and the word Vihi. Hmm. That's the only two CDs we have, right? 
Album by the popular idol group Love and Hero, Love He, found in Bondo's desk. Covers a group shot with a girl with twin ponytails in the middle. And the words V He. Favorite passwords in order. Solo first. So, favorite first? Probably Momo could have said is the one he likes the most, so that must be the rabbit. I don't know, bear, bird, bear, bird, or pig. Uh, I don't know what love and hero would be, but then I still need two more as well. And it says solo first. Maybe the bear is solo? Oh, I only need to click on two of them, not all four of them. Oh. Oh. And then it's solo first because uh, Momo Kurose is, a, is just one thing and love and hero is like a group of idols. So it's a rabbit first, but then the second one I don't know, and apparently, um, Love and Hero is, let me see, Love and Hero is pig, apparently. Oh, wait, there's more? Oh no, finished. Yeah, oh wow, that's so, I would never have figured it out. So you have to say, like, no, it's just two. I would definitely think I needed to put in all four of them. I don't know why Love and Pig... Love and Hero is Love and Pig. <laughs> I don't know why Love and Hero would be a pig, though. The desktop displays a large calendar with a bunch of marks on it. Because I... Uh, looking through the guide, like, I have the items I need, and I have done all the things that I needed to do so far. So... I should have everything I need to know this password, but I, I obviously missed it. What do we see? Lovey advanced sales begin, Momo TV, Momo Radio, Lovey meet and greet. This guy's obsessed with idols. Who cares about that? Isn't there any more useful info? The calendar also lists a 5-5 five five club dinner. Ah, there it is. That's the club that Takada. He'd hidden away the 55 Club's video. Because he had that video, we can safely assume he was a member of that club. But he's just senior staff. This is a department head. Through what connections was the 55 Club formed, I wonder? Is there anything else that sticks out? The date that says, says CDs to Bando is curious. It has a note on it. Bando is suspicious. Be careful. Use mouse if needed. That's what it says. Oh, the one mouse that we shook. Use mouse. There must be something in it then. I'm not sure, but Bondo must be referring to the section chief Bondo. Whatever the reason, it seems he was suspicious of his co-worker. How horrible. Setting the working environment issues aside, this mouse may unlock the reason why he was suspicious. We need to look around some more in order to solve this puzzle. Can we break it open? This is technically a mouse, right? Correct, a computer mouse. Set use mouse, right? Guess I'll check it out. Turn the mouse over and pop out the ball. Oh yeah, it's one of those really old ones. I keep forgetting this game takes place in the past. Remember, I don't know if you guys remember, I don't know if you guys are too young, but I'm sure some of you remember that the old style mouse weren't like laser at the bottom, but they had just had like a rubber ball in it that like would whirl around and that was like how you move the mouse or how the mouse would sense that it was being moved. That's crazy to think about that. I completely forgot that that was a thing. Because nowadays there's just a tiny laser at the bottom of your mouse that like tracks movement. Damn. That's a blast from the past. There's something in here. Take it out and see it's a key for a cylinder style lock. Oh, the safe! Yeah! Where was that? Was that this desk or the other one? I'm interested in knowing what that key unlocks though. Me too. I think it was the other desk. Let's go back and actually save this. Okay. Move away from the desk, sir! 
How long have I recording? 50 minutes. Okay, go a little bit longer. I'm kind of struggling because of the allergies. I need to go take some antihistamine or something. Um, I think it was here. Yeah. Perhaps the key we found earlier is for opening this box. I'll try it. The safe key opens the box. Inside I find a printed email and a stack of what looks like financial documents. No cash? They're clearly more valuable. These are clearly more valuable than that. Just a stack of papers. And so is a stack of bills. Hand me the documents. I'll look them over and see what I can learn. <laughs> That's a smart reply. Rosé looks through the stack of financial papers, slowly flipping through them. Hmm, I see. So that's it. Hmm, yeah, see? The 5-5 five five Club. I can't say for certain, but these papers all point to something for me. They look like records of fake orders and illegal money exchanges. What? Fake orders? Embezzlement. And on large scale, too. There's a group of people that are stealing money from the company from within. Jesus. I suppose at this point, had might be the more appropriate word to use. So that group was... The 5-5 five five Club was a secret group doing shady things like taking money from the company. What a coincidence that they're all being targeted by a ghost. There must be more to it. Maybe... Maybe the Peach Killer was one of the original 5-5 five five members. Though that's just my guess. For Bundo, these documents were probably his insurance against the plan going awry. He must have figured they might try and pin it all on him. So this was his shield. So they were basically all pieces of garbage. Right? This people... This, this people ruining society are why pure maidens like me are led astray. <laughs> what about the email? Oh, right. It looks like someone printed out an email. The sender's name is Kagawa. I glance over the paper. Print out of an email conversation between department head Kagawa and his lover. Dun dun dun! These guys are something else. Apparently they hooked up in the middle of the night on the sales department floor below here. My, this guy was dipping his pen into company ink in multiple ways. <laughs> he just couldn't stop. Something else written here. Says he hid a card key somewhere. That sounds important. Yeah. Oh, maybe that takes us to the sales de uh, department that oh, I couldn't get into. Kagawa hid a card key somewhere so his lover could get into the office at any time. And he hid it. Careful not to burn yourself with the flames of passion. I hid it on a fire extinguisher. Apparently. Hmm. Might have seen one in the hallway. Hell yes. So it seems like this email was something Bundo kept as a guarantee. Which means that they were both... Each had their own weapons of to guard against the other's inevitable betrayal. Mm. They both had dirt on each other. What do you think of that? They're all trash. <laughs> Holy shit. That lover must be the ghost. Because I think it's a lady. Must be. Check the one here, just in case. But I think it's the other floor. According to the lover's email, a card key was hidden on a certain fire extinguisher. I don't see anything right off the bat. I need to look under Neil to look under the cover and beneath the extinguisher. No card key to be found here. Okay. Let's go to the 22nd floor. Um, must be here. Yes. Not seeing any card key here. Search all fire extinguisher that we've seen around here. Where the hell is it? I imagine it must be somewhere else then. It'll be tough to look elsewhere without Oe. And even with her, we might not have access. True. Were there other places with fire extinguishers? I guess I'll have to check- I guess I'll check some other spots. Hmm. 
So, this door was closed, right? The I'm trying the door on the back on the right. Okay. So, let's check if there's anything here. The map, the map that we found, the floor plan, definitely had fire extinguishers on it, right? Yeah, this one. Oh, yeah. Fire extinguishers in the offices too, not just the hallway. Well done, disciple. There's one in the kitchenette. Ah. Ah, it unlocks the new little room. I leave Rose behind and check the fire extinguisher in the kitchen area. And taped to the bottom of the extinguisher is a card. Damn, so sneaky. Found it. It's great to hear. Different color from always. Maybe this one can get us into the rooms oh, I can't, couldn't get into. Save that for sure. So that was 20 seconds. I literally was just going around checking all the things again that I checked before. Sorry I'm late. At that moment, Oi walks out of the elevator. Perfect timing, Oi. You're too late. Pretty much done with my search already. Well, you're pretty handy to have around then. <laughs> tell me what you got. I tell Oe what I found on Bando and Kagawa. I include Rose's guesses about the 5-5 five five club and stealing from the company. Makes sense. I could see that being the thing that connects all the victims. How come we can find this in like a matter of an hour and the cops haven't found any of this yet? And they've been investigating this case for so long. Uh, I guess the company didn't want them snooping around, right? So it was the company was trying to keep them out of the building. So what was this group called again? The 5x5 five five Club? No, the 5x5 five five Club. I think you have the wrong math symbol. Right, 5x5. Five five. I wouldn't know how to read it other than that. I'll look into that part. I can't promise any immediate results for you though. But anyway, next is that secret rendezvous spot. That's the office we couldn't open on the 22nd floor. Yep, where General Manager Shima worked. Shima's the one who was decapitated. Weren't they all decapitated? Um, I'm just under an hour right now, but... Uh, my eyes, man. I gotta save and um, stop it here for this time. Um, hopefully I'll have it in time up to date. But all my uploads are late because I had to re-upload my hidden object game. Um, hopefully you guys like it. I'm really into it. I think uh, I think this is going to be a short one since um, since we already have the mouth curse on us. So I feel like the next hour I'll record is probably the end of this chapter as well. Um, honestly, my guess is that um, the 5-5 five five Club had a lady in it as well. Like, we only know two or three of the 5-5 five five Club members, and I'm assuming it's five members, but I don't know. Um, but I'm assuming one of them was a lady, or... and or the secret lover of the dude that we're just... we're now gonna go to. And she probably... got brushed off, killed, to keep the company... to keep the group secret, and now she's taking her revenge on all the members. I think that's it, but we'll find out in the next episode. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I'll see you later. If you like this exclusive YouTube content, uh, maybe consider supporting me, becoming a YouTube member, or there's Patreon, or you can be a Twitch sub. Um, if you do $5 or more, you can get access to my Discord server as well and join for weekly movie nights. Uh, just something to keep in mind. But thank you so much for watching anyway. That really supports me too. I'm glad you liked it, and spread the word, and see you in the next episode. Thank you so much. Bye.